right of the smart brush tools we have our stamp tools the clone stamp tool and the pattern stamp tool now the way these work with the clone stamp tool just like our smart healing brush tool you can grab or the healing brush right up here you can grab an area and copy it over another area now it just does a straight copy it doesn't go in and try to adjust things so for cleanups the healing brush tool is actually better but the clone stamp tool still is very very useful let's take a look at this picture here a little hard to see on first glance but right there's a person hiding back in the background there I'm just going to zoom in on that section you see there's a person back there and let's see if we can get rid of that person by doing a little bit of clone stamp work in here first I'm going to make a selection around that and let's grab our rectangular marquee I think that will work for us let's do a little rectangular marquee just like that just kind of clean the area up so I'm not going to be hitting anything else and the rectangle shape works out very nicely for us here there are several ways of doing this. I could just take the window, actually stretch the window over this person, or take some of this background and use the background or background colors over here someplace. Let's get our layers out of the way. I think I'll just grab some of the color right down in here. So I'll grab my clone stamp tool, come over here. It's a little large on my brush. Let's bring our brush size down. There we go. It's better. I'll hold the Alt key down and click inside there. That sets that position. I can then pull that over here. And as I brush in here, it's going to follow along in that area. And I can just, you can see the cross over there, cross here. So I can just paint in and actually just paint that person out. Now, because of that rectangular shape, let me just back up just a little bit there. Because of that rectangular shape, I can be pretty pretty good over here. It's, it'll, it'll look very natural when I finish that off. Now notice how it's a little bit darker because it's matching this area over here. If I had used the healing tool over here, it would have matched the values. It would have been a lot closer. Let's just deselect that. Looks like it's pretty well gone. And we'll just back out and once we're backed out, as you can see, you don't even notice that any longer. So it effectively painted out that person by using the clone stamp tool. Now the pattern stamp tool allows you to put in patterning. Again, using a brush. You just choose the pattern you want to work with. We have all of our patterns we've seen before. Let's just come in here, look at our natural patterns. I'll just grab this kind of plant leaf thing. And as I paint in, it'll actually paint in that pattern. There we go. We can adjust the size of the scaling of that pattern and the size of the brush. Yeah, it's a good way to kind of fill in areas. So if you have something which needs to be filled in, you can select that area, choose a pattern that'll make a good fill in for that section, and then just paint in that pattern. Okay, let's just undo out of using my undo button here and let's back out of some of those stamps so there you go that's using the pattern stamp and also using the clone stamp thank you for watching my video I hope you found it useful if you like this video click on the like button below to let others know you can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future I'm frequently uploading new training videos don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.